Hello and welcome to Filth Breed, a name that couldn't make me more uncomfortable than I think is legally uh, possible. I saw this pop up on Twitter, uh, Dave, that uh, is the creator of Dusk. Uh, we follow each other on Twitter and he talked about Filth Breed saying this is messed up. Um, it is a first person horror shooter. Um, which I'm always interested in, probably a lot like um, Lost in Vivo, which was a good old crack, um, despite me being too much of a coward to play. But Filth Breed makes me uncomfortable in a different way. Don't like that roach. Not, you know, a lot of bugs don't bother me too much, but roach is not, not a fan. I don't even know if that's a roach. I don't fucking care. Let's just play this. This, this is going to be bad. Would you like to read the tutorial? Yeah, maybe it's best for me. Uh, click to advance the slideshow narration. Use the arrows as you find a firearm. Scroll on the mouse wheel to draw your gun and click to shoot. Can't interact with objects in your surroundings if you're, if you're ready to open fire. Lower your guard to holster weapon by scrolling down. Click on objects to interact with them depending on the prompt shown in the bottom of the screen. Ammo is sparse and there's no health recovery, so don't go in guns a-blazing. Damn it, that's the only way I go with my guns. Jesus. Homeless shelters all across the state have reported the disappearance of several people in the past few months. Investigators are pointing to Michigan truck driver Louis Burton as a prime suspect. I mean, if that's him, then yeah, that's the suspect. Having a well-documented track record of smuggling cocaine across the border, he too is nowhere to be found. His former partner has confirmed Burton's involvement in the case, but remains adamant that he's not absconding. According to his testimony, Burton's been recruited by a local cult and held captive in an unknown location. Jeez, that's a little string of bad luck. Well, these claims have yet to be verified, a transport truck matching that of the suspect has been located next to the warehouse in the outskirts of Detroit. Damn! This horror game takes place in Detroit. Higher-ups remain skeptical, but you've been tasked to search the area for any evidence uh, per pertaining to the case. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. Exit. This fucking you turn back straight away and tell your superiors you found out it. Oh, this game kicks ass. Your quick return and short report raises some eyebrows in the office, but nobody was buying that cult nonsense anyway. You feel like an absolute coward and quit the force shortly thereafter. The trail goes cold and the case is eventually archived. Amazing! Oh, that's ending one. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was the best day of my life right there. So I'm, I'm, I, it's this procure on site weapons acquisition. I'm just sent to Detroit with no guns. And God bless them, all of them, they probably don't have a whole lot of water. At least Flint doesn't. It's just still the most fucked up thing ever. Okay, um,. Fantastic. So, yeah, I don't really have much of anything. Do I have an inventory? Flashlight is not even a thing that you can turn off. Which is good, I guess. There's a note. Oh, yeah, just turn on the fan. It's a little musty in here. What with all the shit stains on the walls. Uh, you were right, Sally. We should never have trusted these crazy fucks. They keep us all down here in the dark, trapped like cattle, or just animals to them. Some of, some of us are even starting to act the part. There's this Lucas guy who walks on all fours and bites you when you're sleeping. I miss you, Sally. I miss the gang back home. I miss fucking Brightmoor. I hear them chanting again. It's time. Okay, that's fairly dark. Cults not used nearly as much in... Um, horror games like there yeah there's certainly some uh outlast too and like you know obviously silent hills and stuff but in all the like the, the random steam horror games i've played um not not as much as you'd think well here we go you found an old glock scroll up to equip it and click to shoot oh huh. that's a horrible noise oh god Jesus, they really didn't like that I took their Glock. Okay. 
I took the gun right out of his pocket, and the idiot didn't even flinch. If only I had the balls to do it before. It's too late for me now. Whoever's reading this, I pray you can make better use of it. Just don't bother aiming for the head. I've never seen those freaks last well over a week without it. I've seen those freaks. Don't shoot them in the head? But then, does this mean that this is just going to get up? Holy shit, man. Not a fan of none of this. I'm having none of this. Well, might as well just have my gun out all the time now. Unless I have to read something. Plus, the washer and dryer behind me is going off, and it sounds scary too. So I'm not a fan of, of, of anything that's currently happening in my life right now. Watch those corners. Alright, was there anything here? No, just a charming Michigan bed. Okay. Let's try here. Four, five. Five shots. More than enough to kill anything that looks like it's already dead. Don't like the sound design. It's just as good as Lost in Vivo. Alright. Every time I wake up, there are roaches in my mouth. I know, right? Are they getting in? Are they coming out? Oh, that's fucked. Yeah, that's messed up. Uh, clever little buggers pulling out my teeth, laying eggs under my tongue, and I can't chew and spit. Every time I wake up, there are roaches in my mouth. Are they getting in? Are they coming out? I can't take it. That's a Papa Roach song right there. Man, it's always a good time down here in Filth Breed. Um, I do know this game is short. I don't know how short it is. Lost in Vivo is like four-ish hours, five, I don't know. Because uh, I didn't play that far. Um, but this might be like, I don't know, like a 15-minute game for all I know. But it, it, it sounds like it could be the type of thing where I'm like... This is already, like, horrible and scary and, like, well-designed, even though it's so, so simple. But, you know, I really prefer it in a first-person horror game where I have some type of weapon. There's something that's literally moving right here. Or not. There was something that's fucking moving here. Wait, it's gas? gas or noise or something i don't know what's quite going for there inspect what time is it what day is it it's all just blends together after a while yeah that's the life of being a youtuber i can't even tell dreams from reality anymore no matter if i open or close my eyes it's only this pitch black shroud around me same bro what's worse is the things i do here i wish i didn't there's crawling hands and feet all over the ceiling and they can't be all mine quite loud okay I don't even have an interact really uh, I would say like open up or, or what have you I don't see any shit on the well I mean that's that's fairly obvious that stuff but okay let's continue with my gun out it's the only way to live huh 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 Okay. It's good. Horror games are good if I'm freaking out at every sound. Okay, it could just be buggos. All these Pikmin. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing Pikmin. Think of, about it this way. That's a stink room. Jesus. Um, nothing here. No, no. Oh, it's just a giant screaming face. Cool. Might just be graffiti. Yeah. Oh god, I'm so scared. I'm so fucking scared. Ah! Wait, there's more. There's more noises. <laughs> no. I, 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 I. Ammo was sparse. They were right about the sparse ass ammo. 
I'm fucked. I'm fucked. <laughs> okay, I don't even have a run. I wish I at least had a melee strike. Should I just leave? If he comes in, should I just go around him and just leave? Oh shit! Ah, filth breed! All right, I found an extra uh, case of ammo. It was hidden down the other um, hallway. Killed uh, one, the first enemy again, so I still have one or two. But there's an extra clip on my side, so Ooh, they weren't kidding. Um, also, I'm not sure if damage is RNG or whatever, but like some of them took five shots and some of them took three. But now that I know that where they're kind of coming from, more or less, three shots center mass in the chest seem to kill them slightly faster. I'm not exactly sure. No, I guess that one just takes more damage. Which which kind of sucks. It sort of. I I don't know. I don't know if it sucks. Pulling out my teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's just normal room. Can't can't do anything with that completely normal room. All right, so. Okay, so this is this is all the ammo I have now, unless I mag magically find more. Yeah, it's very um like a lot like Lost in Vivo. Jesus Christ, this this gives Fetus a, of God a run for its fucking money, which I would think is impossible. Um, they get distinct smack of um cry of fear with this as well. Okay, not much in here, unless I can interact with something. But interaction seems to be pull shutter. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this looks scary, too. Am I going down or am I going up? I can't even tell. Up, I guess, but the way this... Yeah, the way this hallway is modeled is just off. All right, let's see if there's anything here. Inspect the shit out of this. Looks like some type of sacred book. What language is that? Ancient Sumerian? That's always my go-to. Can you interact with this door? Nope. Yeah, I don't even know if you get, like, other weapons and stuff. Like, I, I went into Lost in Vivo with a little bit more info than I have on this. I just saw it recommended once, saying this is terrifying, it's simple and short, but, uh, yeah, very effective. And, yeah, it's very effective. I don't know, That that's a very impressive way of showing light through blinds I, I that's a weird thing to make a comment on but i'm making a comment on it regardless I'm looking around for fucking ammo is anything going to trigger if i read this thus spoke the slumbering prophet gorgoran uh he took a sick god to his sick imagine a world this filthy uh, he took a vile god to shape a world this cruel it takes a world this filthy to shelter us all in its putrid bosom it takes a world this cruel to nurture us all into an existence of agony. Yeah, sounds like a teenager wrote this. We are but mold on the rotting apple. We are but the shadows of a madman's dance in the fire. Actually, I like that line. Man is not doomed, but destined to ruin. Man is not to purge, but to fester the world. Which innards reveal the path. Bring forth the lice mother. Ooh, that sounds sexy. The lice mother. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not sure if that thing on the, on the main screen was like a roach or, you know, a lice. I, I don't know. My, my, my bugonometry has been a little lacking as of late. Okay, I think I came around this way. So, yeah, this is... Next logical place. God, this place is fucking filthy. 
Ugh. Ugh. It's not a fan of turning around that corner, weirdly enough. Anything here? Kind of like the like you have to lower your weapon to look at stuff because it does leave you vulnerable for a little bit. All right. Well, not much in here. Okay. Open up the blinds. No. Okay. Sure. Just I felt I should check. Not sure if that's a light source on the wall or like a false wall. Probably not. Okay. I'm overthinking thing things. It's, it's, I can't even speak. All right, well, nothing's happened for a little while, except for, yeah, that. That's the guy. That's the dude guy, I think. That's, that's cool. Are you okay? Should I shoot this? That was stupid. Um, anyway. Down we go. Ugh. Oh, the lice mothers. It's just like alien eggs. They, I don't know about this cult. There's something about them that I just don't trust. Not a great cult. Okay, I shot these giant roaches. They're not attacking me, but I shot that one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ew, I'm not even looking down at the floor. It's too icky. Okay. Ah. Shit. Wow, that was a wasted shot. Yeah, you don't know if it's going to be three or five. Okay, we're back to gross hallways. Oh, wait, no. This is back where we... This is the start. Okay, that was just like a shortcut back to the original area, maybe. Yeah. So can I go back through here? I can't? Well, I found his body. He's fucking dead. Let's leave, shall we? I'm out of here. Uh, you block the old iron door and take a moment to bask in the sun out of the reach of those creatures. Back at the station, you debrief your superior on everything you found. You don't even bother trying not to sound crazy. After a moment of awkward silence, he finally congratulates you for good work. He then suggests you take a couple day break. Why don't you send in like a couple of dudes, like a SWAT team in there to investigate? You go home and try your best to get some sleep. Come morning, you wake up to the news of a fire at the warehouse. Damn it, the place went up in flames well before a team could be dispatched to check your findings. It's all gone. Twelve bodies have been recovered so far, but police are hesitant to identify them as human. They're hard and hollow, like man-shaped chitin shells. Chitin shells? I think that's like a bug-based thing. I got ND3 pest control! Yay! Uh, yeah, so I think that's that's good for filth breed. Um, that is actually really terrifying, really simple. All it takes is a lot of grungy textures and really good sound design. Uh, I'm playing this with headphones, and like, yeah, that was that was that was horrifying. Um, this just seems like a proof of concept to like a bigger game. I'm sure this developer, um, you know, I'll 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 link. Uh, the uh, page that I got this on in the comments uh, in the description rather below. I'm a little frazzled. I'm sorry. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'll look forward to if he makes something else, just like Lost in Vivo. Um, this was like so effective and cut straight to the core of my cowardly being that, um, yeah, I, I'd be down to play something a bit more full fledged than this. But yeah, really promising start. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of, of Matt's Nightmares. I sure didn't.